Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to that part of the show. Your final comedian of the night. His parents are here, who we love. Legendary guests. Some people say guest of the year 2022. I mean, what can I say about him? You know him. He has the record for all-time appearances on the show. The record for the most interviews on the show. He is the currently the only living member of the Kill Tony Hall of Fame. The Tijuana Tarantula. The Des Moines Dealer. The Syracuse Sultan. The Memphis Strangler. The Vanilla Gorilla. This is the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. for Old Town Road must fornicate with Fruity Black Cowboy. <laughs> Time for a joke. What do you call a robot on drugs? Elon Musk. <laughs> no, but seriously, Alex Jones uses me to block 5G cell phone signals. <laughs> People ask me if I like the Wizard of Oz. Shit, pretty much the only Oz I care about is the HBO show. <laughs> What's the difference between Red Band's mom and the Wicked Witch from the West? Red Band's mom only turns into a puddle when you hit it from the back. Your mom's a fucking slut, dude, and she's old as shit! She was fucking in the Wizard of Oz, bitch! But yeah, that's my time. Thank you so wow, much. Wow, what an amazing performance. This is unbelievable. You are such a showman. On these big shows, you really know how to fucking turn it up. You are, what are, what are you, a robot? It's, Tony, it's a little embarrassing. I was actually wearing this on Christmas night, and I just haven't changed yet. I got super drunk, took a little ecstasy, fucking five days later, I'm fucking lost at the airport again. Good evening. This look is <laughs> unbelievable. You on the big screen with these fucking great cameras. It is incredible to see. Such a showman. Where do you get a hat like that? Oh, man, I got this in New Mexico. I was in New Mexico four days ago, Tony. First night of ecstasy. There's a fucking Hispanic family that I used to live with. I went over to their casa one night. We're fucking... We're fucking. I mean, it was... Uh, <laughs> and I had this fucking hat on! No, but the hat's a nightmare. I've been wearing it for the past five fucking hours, and... Hey, bitch, when are you going to start laughing at any of this shit? Yeah, I'm killing it up here right now, bitch! Thousands of people here. Meanwhile, those two really stand out. It's kind of incredible. Yeah, Yo, what is that? A father-daughter situation? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, a father-daughter situation? Shit. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah, they are father and daughter. You actually nailed it. Will William, how much does an outfit like this cost? This was $3,000. I got it on Amazon, got 24-hour shipping. It was actually the shipping that cost so much. The shipping was $2,500. Outfit was 500 
When you gotta get it fast, you gotta get it Amazon. I mean, it's a great look. You look like you sell Plan B on the moon. That's a compliment. That's a tough gig. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you got you. it. <laughs> You're crushing it. I love you the hat. You said when you got to get it fast, you got to go Amazon. Is this a new sponsor that I'm hearing? It is, y'all. I actually have the biggest sponsorship deal of my fucking life. Who do who? Amazon reached out Christmas night. That's why I took the ecstasy. Fucking seven years. Fucking, they said $8,000. Something has to be off with that. But yeah, seven years, 8000 bucks. but it's Amazon. I get free shipping, so thanks for, why are you fucking laughing? What are you doing with you your just stupid spent head, $3, you dollars on shipping. You spent $3,000 on shipping. You sound as stupid as ever right now, you dumbass. He did say it was 3000 for the outfit, not for shipping. No, he said all the money was on shipping. I pay attention. Oh, oh yeah, and Red Band. By the way, my dad is up there with uh, your girlfriend, Janice. I saw him making out earlier, bitch. Whoa. <laughs> and my dad's sick as shit right now. Oh, shit. Fine. Janice! Finally, a white guy getting an Asian sick for a change. That's different. Yeah, I know. You remember the lab leak? No? All right, forget it. Uh, He's talking about Wuhan, and I got a big problem with Wuhan. Tell us what your problem is. I ain't ever gonna go back to Wuhan! How many times have you been there? Shit, like seven times. Oh my God, what did you used to do in Wuhan? I worked at a factory, Tony. It was a factory we dealt with, a bunch of tires. It was a fucking nightmare. I didn't know how to speak fucking Spanish. Uh, <laughs> I don't give a shit no more! By the wow. way, I would love to see a headline tour of Brian Holtzman and William Montgomery. <laughs> I mean, I'd pay top dollar for that. That's good money, ten dollars. Yeah, maybe we should do it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the balls rolled on top of your hat. That's what she said. <laughs> so a red band's mom said the other night. <laughs> oh shit! And is that just glitter on your belly? Am I seeing this correctly? Because there's a hole in the middle. Is that your belly button? Yeah, I actually ate some of that sparkly stuff in thermometers at my parents' house. I got into some uh, some of those things, and yeah, I drank the sparkly silver stuff and tony it's been like this for a couple of days now my tummy's hurting so bad i ate a it's like mercury or something i was drinking the mercury out of these thermometers my mom was like william you have to stop doing that what are you you're turning silver and i Wait, was like what accent is that you're turning silver will you yeah my mom sounds really weird is she, she the teacher like is she the teacher from the muppet babies who was that yeah william you're turning silver your mom sounds then, like that? Yeah, William, what's going on with your tummy? It's turning silver. <laughs> William, your tummy is really silver right now. And I'm like, Mom, get the fuck out of my room, bitch! I can eat the mercury, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> William, how have the cameos been going? Cameos have got, I, I swear to all of you, thank you. If you're in this room and you got a cameo, I'm up to number six. Let's go. One cameo. I'm fucking flying to their office next Sunday. I got a bone to pick with cameo. Uh-oh, what's what the they, bone? What'd they do? They fucking, they, they released, I had a bunch of personal data on there. It's an actual, it's a real lawsuit. That we're, oh. Oh, shit, okay. <laughs> How yeah, did, it's a data leak. How did the something. gig at Dr. Squatch headquarters go? Well, they heard about me mentioning Dr. Squatch uh, giving me cancer, and they actually didn't pay me, so I didn't get paid. So, yeah, I'm not even kidding. It was the biggest deal of my fucking life. I'm already buying the fucking uh, sports car. I'm already buying the fucking Porsche Boxster. Fucking, they find out. I fu Was that funny? <laughs> fucking idiot. And then I fucking find out they're not going to fucking pay my ass. And I swear, I spent that money the second it hit my fucking, that second that check hit my pocket, I'm getting fucking looking up sports box. Fucking poor sports, sports boxsters and <laughs> sportsters. I've looked up a bunch of sportsters and I'm like, fuck, I got this big ass check in my pocket. It's like, I see these sportsters all over fucking Craigslist and shit. And bitch, you're really not laughing at this. <laughs> Uh, Wait, William, if I bought a cameo from you later tonight for, like, my grandson, right? He's got HPV, and, uh, 
He's, but he's but he's a big fan of Fortnite, okay? But he's also, he's you know, he's got a, a lazy eye. Uh, if I give you that personal information, his name's Ethan. What would you, uh, let's, let's give him a little cameo music, guys. What would you record from my grandson? Hey, Ethan, what's up? So nice to be talking with your ass right now. Ethan, if I seem kind of sad right now, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sad. My dad actually got stuck in the chimney Christmas Eve. Fucking, we don't know if he made it halfway in, two-thirds of the way in. We don't know because we had to call the fire department, and they show up. It turns into a very expensive, very extensive extraction operation. So, yeah, Ethan, I'm fucking sad as shit right now. But, Ethan, oh, my gosh, I heard you like Fortnite, dude. That's so cool. I love Fortnite. I can't get enough of Fortnite, Ethan. Uh, wait, God, what was the rest of it? What, I don't know. What else? Hey, uh, he's not a real person, but... Uh... <laughs> But that was great. Now, how much money have you made on Cameo? You said six Cameos. I have made over $6,000. Um, it's been two years, so things are looking up. I'm thinking I might actually get that escalator back at the apartment. Uh -oh. I want to start fucking not walking up the stairs anymore. This hat makes it hard enough. I'm getting the escalator again if I keep on doing the cameos. So we'll see. I mean, Lord willing and the creek don't rise. I'm going to get that escalator. Uh, Escalator in two years. It seems like you are set on getting the escalator. Do you think this is some a dream that you're ever going to give up on? You know what, Tony? The moment I heard about a, what, what, just what an escalator was, how it gets you up to the second level of a mall or someplace like that, uh, and you don't have to take a step. I, I discovered they're called escalators, and I discovered them, and I get one shipped to my house, and I swear to God, I ain't ever going to stop ordering escalators to my house. Never? I ain't ever going to stop her. Thanks so nice for William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. William, our second musical guest couldn't make it, so. Thank you so much for having me. We'll see you tomorrow night. William lights out Montgomery, ladies Later, and player. gentlemen. Hootie hoo. I present to you the Tijuana Tornado. The Des Moines Dilemma. The Milwaukee Maneater. The Vanilla Gorilla, the Memphis Strangler, the Big Red Machine. This is indeed William Montgomery. Say hootie, you say hoo hootie. Hoo. Okay, let's stop it there. Um, so what I got a structured settlement from JG Wentworth. How can you tell? But seriously, sorry, I'm late. I just tried to be auditioning to be the next gold bond spokesperson. They weren't necessarily holding auditions. It just came to me. I can't explain it. I just realized what Gold Bond needed. The CEO was really surprised to see me. He was like, how did you know my home address? And did you know my security guards are dead? And where's my dog? My dog normally barks. Real quick, what if we gave the people of Gaza casinos? Would they Would they accept gambling establishments as sort of a truce? On behalf of Israel, I'd like to present to the people of Gaza the Sandcastle Casino run by Chief Plane on Fire. Okay, that's my time. Thank you so much. The, great, the powerful, the one, the only, the...
Big Red Machine, William Lights Out Montgomery. Has How's it going, San Antonio? <laughs> And also, I'm going to be very honest. It's very awkward up here right now. Mr. Beast owes me fucking $100,000. So it was a whole fucking T-shirt deal gone awry. So this was super awkward when I found out your ass was going to be you, man. <laughs> Will you? <laughs> Get his ass. Man, what the Get fuck are ass. you talking about? Not in San Antonio, dude! William, you are on fire tonight. You are in rare form. There is something... Oh, yeah, you can say that! <laughs> I love it. Where did you get this kind of attire, William? Red what you, Band... What, what, Red are you, what, what are you wearing? <laughs> Oh my gosh, no, Red Band actually gave me a $1,000 gift card for anthropology for Christmas, but the one stipulation was I had five minutes to pick out a fucking outfit, so this is what I got. Maybe next year, Red Band, you can give me fucking 10 minutes, you bitch! Speaking of Red Band, I don't hey, know Hey, you... keep my man's name out your fucking mouth! I love you. Will you marry this old fuck? Oh, shit. Janice, why? You know I can't stand your fucking ass, Janice! Why would you even say that? It's fucking New Year's Eve, bitch! No, seriously, why would you say that, Janice? I'm trying to have fun tonight. Mr. Beast and I had a fun time up here. Why would you fucking do that, Janice? Does Mr. Beast really owe you $100,000? $100,000. It was some t-shirt deal and tell him about it. It was in Sacramento. It was in some warehouse district. Yeah, in Milwaukee, right? Yeah, Milwaukee. Yeah, that's... (laughs) What happens in Milwaukee stays in Milwaukee. Let me tell you. Don't bring that shit up here. Don't be a fucking... uh... I was fucking in the hotel room that night in Milwaukee. You're acting like a real Mike Pack right now. (laughs) We were in the lobby, first of all. That's where I have my gay sex, in the lobby. William, uh, we've been through a fucking lot. You have the most appearances and interviews all time on the show, so I think it's only fitting that uh, you stay up here while we roll... One more little video package. You know, it was at the, uh, he's already a Hall of Famer. But anyway, it was at uh, the ACL Live Theater for the 10-year anniversary where we announced that we were doing this show here tonight. And you guys fucking shocked the world by filling this arena so fast that we had to add another show. And the fan base is fucking through the roof and it's out of control so we'd like to show you where we are going in 2024 here we go roll that beautiful bean footage And also, not to be a downer, but I have six months left to live. There's skin cancer (laughs) again, uh, so. We need you to make it eight months. It's August 10th, 2024, Madison Square Garden. A fucking podcast in Madison Square Garden because of crazy motherfuckers with a demented sense of humor like you people. That's nuts. William, that's what's up. So nice to be here today. Happy New Year. (laughs) So we've come to that time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. How many of you have been fans of the show for a long time? Well, then you guys probably know what's about to happen. Hall of Fame member. Um... The record holder for all time appearances on the show and interviews on the show. I present to you the Tijuana Tarantula, the Rio Grande Rabble Rouser, 
the Carolina Caboose, the Memphis Strangler, the Vanilla Gorilla. This is the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. He fucking sold me pills a couple of nights ago, so I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Davey, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about four and a half years now. Four and a half yeah. years. Have you been on this show before? I have. Okay. Yeah, I was, I, I'm the guy that sold pills. Sold pills. Yeah. Okay. For legal reasons, I do not sell pills anymore. Right. Please stop DMing me, please. Right. <laughs> totally don't sell pills. What kind of pills were you selling before? Uh... <laughs> The good kind, <laughs> Tony. Okay. Uh, a lot of, you know, opiates. Okay. A little Xanax. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Last week, an elderly couple in South Carolina was found dead in their home after the faulty heater in their house reached 1,000 degrees. Uh, good thing they died because their utility bill was about to be fucking brutal. <laughs> They have released the list of men who partied with Jeffrey Epstein, and one of the more surprising names was the paralyzed astronomer Stephen Hawking. I'm sure the conversation went something like, Hello, little girl, I feel nothing in my entire body, and my penis doesn't function at all, but I need you to touch it anyway. <laughs> Remember when people bragged about having good gaydar? Yeah, I've got gaydar. It's called AIDS, you idiot. <laughs> okay. That's my time. Thank you. Boom. He did it again. And again and again and again and again and again and again. Unbelievable. One minute, 15 seconds from the reigning defending Hall of Fame member and legend of the show, icon in every single way, William Lights Out Montgomery. How do you feel, William? I will be honest with y'all. I wanted to relapse on cocaine tonight. Corduroy Xavier, who was here earlier, there was a time when I was doing Kill Tony at the comedy store, and I went back to Corduroy Xavier's place one night after the show and was there till 11 a.m. the next day. And at one point in time, I remember thinking, is this guy going to fucking kill me? But then I thought, wait, maybe he should be scared of me. Maybe I'm about to fucking kill this dude. And I let him, I let it not happen. I let, I stopped myself. I didn't fucking kill him. But there was a point in time where I was like, maybe I preemptively need to just fucking strangle his fucking ass before he takes me out. But then I started thinking, Tony, I'm not built for prison. I don't wanna, I can't, I had to stop watching fucking Scared Straight. I was having fucking nightmares about being in prison. So Tony, I can't even watch Scared Straight anymore, man. Tony, I can't even watch Scared Straight anymore, man. I've been working on that a bunch recently. Can you watch that shit about that? But yeah, Corduroy Xavier and I, we got fucked up on cocaine one so that, night. This is back in your heavy drinking, heavy drug days. Yeah, this days. was probably 2020 maybe. And how much like drugs or drinking do you think you did that night, if you had to guess? So that people know. I mean, we this probably was each real. did a gram of cocaine and... There were cameras. The people from San Antonio go wild there. I know. That's a bunch of fucking drug addicted fucking pieces of shit down in San Antonio. I wish you didn't even fucking bring up San Antonio, Tony. No, I like San Antonio. But it was, uh, yeah, it was quite the evening, but it's much better to be on the other side of that. So. Right. Yes, here you are, absolutely thriving. There were a lot of, uh, you know, people don't remember. There was a lot of sloppy sets back then, a lot of uh, unpreparedness, a lot of a uh, lack of execution. And uh, but I saw something special in you back then. You got to remember, and a lot of people don't remember this. You probably do, but. Oh, 
ninety-six percent of the fan base hated you for a long time. Well, I look remember. at them. <laughs> Are you gonna write me a check tonight? As you've been writing everybody checks tonight. How much do you want, kid? <laughs> I just need another 175 to get the uh, escalator back to the apartment. I need I'm 75 bucks away. Great from call, the, $175, and I've been handing out millions to everyone else. $175. Yeah. Can I ask a question? That it sounds like you have a rich history here. It sounds yes. like a, there's been a Very long. Very much so. I think uh, I'm trying to think of one question that maybe nobody's ever asked. If you don't, if you'll indulge me, friend. Yeah. Have you ever snuck up into the graveyard in the middle of the night, covered your face in gravy, and pretended you were a meatloaf monster? Yeah. Now be honest. I, yeah, no, I have. There's a graveyard in Memphis with a stone grotto, and I used to, the stone grotto was where I lived when I was the meatloaf monster. But Thank yeah, you for your honesty. Yeah. Thank and you for what sharing. What types of, Thank like, you. what would you do to be the meatloaf monster? How, in what ways was the meatloaf monster different than William Montgomery? I Guys, I was only fucking around. Well... You'll be surprised. This guy really has a real? rich history. Wow. Okay. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. No. Me. I mean, it would take me sometimes hours to find my way into the stone grotto. And I mean, once I got into the stone grotto in the graveyard, it would uh, take me—I don't know—thirty minutes to get all the meatloaf on my face, all the gravy on my face. <laughs> I'd have to get everything just right. And yeah, I mean, it's another 45 minutes to find my way out of the, out of the grotto and the thing. So yeah, it, was a time, it was, took a lot of time. But. Oh, you are, you're, you're just a little darling. <laughs> <laughs> he is. <laughs> he used to not be. He used to be a real troublemaker. And then... Um, not now. Now then, he's a meatloaf darling. Yeah. I know. I love meatloaf. Yeah. I don't know at what point, but at some point he got scared straight, so... <laughs> Wow. It's hard to scare the gay out of someone, but good for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, oh, it's He been... said it's scared straight, you said? You are so funny. It's unbelievable <laughs> you really are, how funny you are. One of my favorites of all time. Ooh, that's, a, that's the best scared straight joke I've ever heard. Oh, the entire book. Oh. Fuck yeah. Knock yourself out. Go out to KFC and get the extra large coleslaw, you. You know what's dirty crazy? Twat. I'm actually a member of a Dolphin Bank with no numbers, no Let no. Let me read it to you. <laughs> a little Donnie meatloaf. <laughs> William, anything else that we need to know about you before we I let was, you go? I was in Rochester this past weekend, and I have to say I love garbage plates. I had eight garbage plates, and Tony, I finally had my all-brand buds today, and I ate a large pizza last night as well. I've been on a, I've been on one recently with the, yeah. But yeah, no, I ate the all-brand buds today, and I have shit five times today. So. Amazing. Yeah, Feeling pretty good right now. There's a so. lot going on there. What do you have in your hoodie pocket there? What's in the pocket of your hoodie? Ooh, about last night. <laughs> oh. I was asking about the hoodie, not even the vest, but let's go. What's in the vest? Oh, no, nothing's in here. Oh, nothing. Oh. Yeah, no, nothing. It looks like it was there. stuffed with something. It's belly button. He has an Audi. No, there's nothing in there. So. What's in there? You have there's anything nothing in, there? in here? Nothing in your pocket? No. How about no. your sweatpants? No, looks like my you have a little something have stuffed pockets. in that front pocket oh. there. Yeah, well, it's fucking 15 degrees outside. It's a nightmare outside right now. I hate it. Do you get harder when it's cold outside? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you so. got in there? You got a little Florida Gator in there? <laughs> got a little medium red machine? Got a little Tijuana Tarantula? Little Raleigh fucking recluse? <laughs> it's like you got something hiding out in there. <laughs> you get harder. In... Okay. <laughs> Did you just do the Pillsbury Doughboy laugh? Yeah. Yeah. Look, looks like so you got a roll of cookie dough in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> what are we working with down there, William? Those sweatpants are very revealing. 
<laughs> Nothing just, says loving like an erection in blue track pants. <laughs> This was such a mistake to have worn these fucking sweatpants tonight. I was trying to have fun it tonight. Is, it was I don't seeming think all it's right. a mistake at all. I think it's a. I think it's a word out there to anyone who threatens you, or uh, you know. I think it's a. I think it's a, a, a brag to your enemies. It appears as though you have one of the largest uh, flaccid penises in the history of the show. It Does looks it, like a. It looks like a Smurf got hit by a toboggan. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that funny, dumbass. Oh my oh, god, somebody's shit. looking sloppy tonight. Oh shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck. Wow. <laughs> he's dressed like he got a call from the police station that his son's in jail and he's got to go bail him out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a middle of the night attire. <laughs> that you're wearing. Did you get dressed really fast tonight? Were you napping, perhaps? And you had to... Yeah, I mean, it's freezing cold outside, and we lost power to the apartment, and my fucking... I got this little generator thing, and it wasn't working, so I was freezing cold, and this is all... This is what I've been wearing for two days. Two days now. Wow. Just, the sweatpants and those shoes just... Yeah. There's two things that yeah. couldn't go together worse than those shoes. Yeah. It's Will not that funny, you fucking idiot. God, you like... William. God. Looks like you're about to go log rolling at a blueberry festival. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean that. I mean that. <laughs> that and there's a fucking beekeeper behind you. Watch out. Wow, he's actually been a beekeeper on this show before. He's, he was in full beekeeper attire. I have. I remember the I'm guy... talking about the drummer. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I see it, yeah. I see it now. I see it. Uh, William, we announced uh, recently that the show is going to the L.A. Forum and two shows at Madison Square Garden. How does this make you feel knowing that you're performing at some of the biggest, most famous arenas in the world? I mean, I'm going to be honest with y'all right now. At the very beginning, when I first tried All Brand Buds, I was like, is this stuff even, is this stuff for real? And then I found out it was. And then, Tony, I'm hearing the news, Madison Square Gardens. I'm thinking to myself, is this for real? And then I fucking wake up one morning and I'm thinking, holy shit, I don't know if I'm ever going to stop. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, you love it, right? Man, you bitch! Fucking idiot, don't look at me like that! Fucking William dumbass. the Great Montgomery, everybody! I present to you the Tijuana Tornado, the Sacramento Sultan, the Memphis Strangler, the Buffalo Billionaire, the one, the only, the vanilla gorilla, the big red machine. This is William Montgomery. British police are investigating the rape of a 15-year-old girl in the metaverse, and I'm just over here trying to figure out how Bill Clinton was able to squeeze his fat ass in there. Uh, an Indian tech CEO just died when the wire holding the cage he was being lowered down on during the opening ceremony snapped, causing him to fall and land on his head. Kind of crazy because you'd have thought his turban would have broken the fall. <laughs> Man, y'all know I don't like Indian people. Silence is violence. Shit, if that's true, I kind of wish my dad would have just given me the silent treatment instead. <laughs> okay, that's my time. Thank you. Boom. All right, all right. The great, the powerful William Montgomery. You know, William, William, we were in Hawaii together, were we not? 
We were. We had we, dinner together. You took me to dinner. And you took you, us to you, dinner. I, dude, honestly, dude, I'm a huge fan. And you're a real gentleman, too. You're a polite guy. You're very talented. I'm just glad that I was here, here to wis- witness you live. Yeah, well, it's a pleasure to be <laughs> witnessing you live right now, Bobby. I mean, I've, it's so nice to see you right now, so... Yeah, I think that deserves a. Uh, I think that deserves a hooty who. <laughs> no, y'all started a little too early. Hold on, uh, on maybe on three. One, two, three. <laughs> no, somebody that sounded weird. Maybe on three. Let's try it one more time. One, two, three. <laughs> Ooh, you made the lights go off with that one. That was yeah, exciting. that was this oh powerful God. one. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> D Madden is fucking right on cue. Um, Wait, did, could you tell that the lights just flickered a little, D Madness? Have you been pulling all of our legs? I'll never tell. Okay. <laughs> that would be that would be a very long played out joke if it was. I've seen <laughs> I've seen this guy really commit. <laughs> yeah. Um, Amazing. How about a hand for the great D Madness? I'm in a fucking legend. So what else has been going on, William? I'm going to be honest with you right now, Tony. You would be horrified if you could have seen me since Friday. A video game that got me back into video games got remastered. It's called The Last of Us 2, Tony. And I am almost, I've almost been the game. I've spent 30 hours the past two days oh my goodness. doing that. I'm not even kidding. And I'm almost towards the end. So now I'm kind of sad because it's my birthday on Friday. And I was planning on playing The Last of Us 2 fucking remaster for my birthday. But I've already almost finished this. So Tony. I don't know what I'm going to do on my birthday this year, man. I don't even know, man. <laughs> don't even know. I was fucking playing, on playing The Last of Us 2 Remaster, and now I don't even know what I'm going to do, man. I'm 37 on Friday, Tony, and wow. now I don't have any... Fl- wow. Well, what are you going to do? <laughs> Shit. Um... I don't know. Maybe play The Last of Us 2 a little bit more. I'm going to be able to save my guns for the next round. So maybe just play that shit again, Tony. And I'm also eating a bunch of Sumo Citrus. I don't know if y'all like Sumo Citrus, but they are actually my newest sponsor. They're really good. They're what, cute. What, yeah, what is that? It's a citrus fruit. Yeah, Red Band, I'm sure you're shaking your head, you fucking nasty what, what fat the fuck ass. Is I'm sure that? you don't know what a fucking fruit is, you <laughs> sickening piece of shit. Shut the fuck don't up. Don't come at me, no, dumbass. Don't talk to me like that, you don't. bitch. Stop Whoa. acting. It's not genuine when you do it, Whatever, you Whatever, every time you talk, you smell like fish. It's not fucking genuine. Everybody knows you're acting, dumbass. Seriously, stop, stop fucking stop trying stop to act tough to up here, you Whatever, dumbass. Whatever, fish mouth. Why are you fish yelling mouth? over them? <laughs> What? what does fish mouth mean, you fucking mouth. idiot? Stop! <laughs> oh my god. So fish mouth? Oh, that's a good one, idiot! <laughs> Red Band's standing up for himself, kind of. <laughs> Just Every call time him he talks, fish it mouth? smells like fucking pussy that's moldy or something. Stop talking. Oh, that's actually funny. Oh, oh yeah? fish mouth. Wow, my you breast smells like pussy. Oh, good one. I get it now, dumbass. Yeah, drink some more, you fucking yeah, nasty wh- alcoholic. Why don't, you, why don't you drink some more soda water, you bitch? Uh, soda water. Huh? huh? <laughs> I can't even understand. Yo, come on. Okay, okay, Red Man. I really hope my baby can't hear you. <laughs> What does that mean, bitch? <laughs> Your baby has no ears, William. Make, make fun of me, make fun of me. I actually, something did happen to me this past week. I went to a place called Sashuan Garden. I'm sure your people know about that. It's some fucking Asian place. And it was fucking nasty as shit. So if anybody lives in Austin, Texas, do not go to Sashuan Garden. Wow. I swear to God, Tony, I get in there. There's only one couple in the entire place. It smells like cleaning supplies right when I get in there. And it gets my better judgment. I got the food and it wasn't. (laughs) What did you get? What did you order from there? Egg drop soup that tastes a little too much like eggs for me, Tony. It Ah. tastes, I swear to God, the yellow part was like egg yolks or something. So I started off with that and then I ate this crispy chicken stuff, but it was ma- it was mainly crispies in the chicken, and I like it a little more chickeny. I hate all the crispies they put 
some of the Asian places, they put the wow. Krispies in there. Red Man it was able to find reviews from this place. <laughs> Literally, this one has 520 likes. It is one star. Probably the most disgusting Chinese food we've eaten in a long time, period. And that includes the, the buffet at LaGuardia Airport. <laughs> I would actually fly to LaGuardia Airport just to eat there again. <laughs> it was so disgusting, even our dog wouldn't eat it. Oh my God. We went on September it's 2nd. It's another review. <laughs> it's a different review, completely, with 58 agrees. We went on Saturday, September 2nd, 2023, to try to get something to eat. When we opened the door, a very strong sewage odor almost made us gag. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Healthy department should be checking this place. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. There was another one star there. Go back to that. Above that. Above that. Above that. Above that. Above that. Oh, there's no stars there. Oh, my goodness. Somebody left no stars. I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> Yeah, and I felt like such an idiot because, Tony, I get a lot. I love Cabo Bob's. I'll get that. I've started eating a lot of P. Terry's, Tony. I have to be careful. I'm starting to gain weight again. I'm starting uh -oh. to get at the mindset where I don't give a fuck anymore. And, I mean, I'm about to be 37, and the psychic I've been going to told me I'm only living. I'm not, I'm not living past 40. So, Tony, I think I might just start drinking again. I still have the cocaine. Well, let me tell you, William, my... there's, a, there's a beautiful woman that just yelled something. Yell it again. Huh? Can you say that again? One more time. I can hear you the first time, bitch. Okay, and I just fucking... I blocked that out, you stupid bitch. I'm having a pretty good fucking time up here tonight, and I swear to God, Tony, I just blocked it out of my stu stupid head. I love watching Esther's reaction to the chaos that is William Montgomery. It's just wondering why it's funny that you he called a woman a stupid bitch. Yeah, I mean, who knocked your ass up, bitch? I mean, that's what I've been fucking wondering ever since I got up here, bitch! It's almost my fucking birthday! What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do for your birthday? Probably never stop playing The Last of Us 2 remaster. I probably not. I never go stop playing the William. You're an absolute god on this show. We fucking Thanks love so you. Thanks so much, Tony. Yeah, nice singing. Make some goddamn noise for the big red machine, William Montgomery. <laughs> <laughs>